Hi there and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for free with Miss Estrick. In this video I'm going to be going through the nitrogen cycle for A-Level Biology. So first of all, why is the nitrogen cycle so important? Um, well, 78% of the atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas. However, we still need this cycle because animals and plants can't obtain the nitrogen through gas exchange. And that in part is due to the fact that nitrogen contains a triple bond. Um, so it's really hard to break that bond um, and it makes it in an inert gas. So therefore, microorganisms are needed to help break that bond and convert nitrogen gas into nitrogen containing substances. And then plants are able to absorb these through active transport in the roots and animals can absorb this after eating and digesting the plant material. So next, why is it that nitrogen is so essential? And this links to the biological molecules topic, thinking about which molecules contain nitrogen. So that would be your proteins and therefore amino acids, ATP because it has adenine, a nitrogenous base, and nucleic acids. So for example, DNA and RNA because of the nitrogenous bases. So the nitrogen cycle can be split into um, four key processes and that's what we're going to go through with a diagram. So we're going to go through what ammonification is, nitrification, nitrogen fixing and denitrification. Now the number one on the list, I haven't put it as a blue um, bold process, but it's pointing out that the nitrogen cycle cannot work without saprobiotic nutrition. And what that means is saprobiont organisms, which are microbes, which are able to feed on dead matter or waste. And we'll look at where that comes up. So here we have the nitrogen cycle. It is a cycle, but I'm going to start from the nitrogen in the atmosphere. So we said that nitrogen or N2 gas in the atmosphere um, needs to be converted into nitrogen containing compounds that can be um, assimilated or absorbed into plants. Now, the first step is nitrogen fixing. And there's two different ways that nitrogen can be fixed. And by that term, nitrogen fixing, it means converting the nitrogen gas um, into a nitrogen containing compound. So it can be done directly in a plant in the root nodules. These are these lumps that you see in the roots. And that is because in those root nodules are bacteria. And that bacteria is able to convert nitrogen gas into either ammonium or nitrates. So that would be the direct route, um, but not all plants have these root nodules and you only find them in leguminous plants. So leguminous plants are able to um, absorb that nitrogen gas, which will be in the air, in the soil and convert it directly into a nitrogen containing compound into the plant. And that's because of the bacteria in the root nodules. So that would be a symbiotic relationship where both the bacteria and plant are gaining benefit from coexisting together. Now, the alternative is if it's not a leguminous plant, which could be examples like clover and different types of bean plants, um, then there is nitrogen fixing bacteria that naturally occurs in the soil. Now, those bacteria are able to react with the nitrogen and convert it into ammonium. So we'd call that ammonification um, because we created ammonia. Now that ammonium needs to be nitrified and go through the process of nitrification before it can be absorbed into the plants. And this happens in two stages of nitrification. So we can see here we have nitrifying bacteria and that is occurring in two places to convert ammonium into nitrites and then there's more nitrifying bacteria within the soil which are able to convert the nitrites into nitrates. So that is our nitrification step where we go from ammonium to nitrite to nitrate. 
The next step then would be those nitrates, which could be dissolved within the water, within the soil, are able to be absorbed into the plant by active transport. And then they'd be assimilated into the cells. So they'd be used to create amino acids, um, ATP and DNA. Once we're in the plants, animals will then eat the plants and the nitrates get into the animals. Now, animals will produce waste, which will contain um, ammonia, and they will also eventually die, as will the plants. And when animals and plants die, the proteins within their cells and the DNA within their cells, the RNA within themselves, all contain nitrogen. And this is where the saprobiotic bacteria, or decomposers, are able to play a key role because they can digest and break down the proteins into nit other nitrogen containing compounds. And that is also ammonification because the waste from animals and dead plants and animal material, which contain proteins, DNA and RNA, are able to be converted into ammonia and then the process cycles round and round and round. So the only other stage to point out is there are denitrifying bacteria also within the soil and they are able to convert the nitrates back into nitrogen gas in the atmosphere. So those are the stages, but just to point out some key points and questions that could come up linked to this. So first of all, just to highlight where those four steps are, ammonification, nitrification, nitrogen fixation and denitrification. So we had here is our nitrogen fixing. Ammonification is the creation of ammonium. So that is gonna be the decomposers. Nitrification is this two-step process. And then denitrification or denitrifying is this step here. Now denitrification is not something that you would want in agriculture because it's a way that you're losing nitrogen and nitrogen containing compounds from the soil. And these bacteria are anaerobic. So you're only going to have denitrification if you don't have enough oxygen in the soil. Now that could happen if the soil is waterlogged and flooded, because that means there's not going to be as much oxygen um, because it's been displaced by water. Um, so that is why farmers will plough the soil. So they'll aerate and turn the soil to make sure that there is oxygen to avoid this denitrification. Um, another question you could get asked is whether it's oxidation or reduction. So ammonium to nitrite to nitrate, that is oxidation. And all of those are aerobic bacteria. They will only work if there is aerobic or oxygen available. So those are some of the key points. The final thing I'm just going to point out is when we were talking about the decomposers um, being able to break down the dead plant and animal matter, in an exam question, you would have to specify what the nitrogen containing compound is. So it's not enough just to say dead plant matter. You would have to say the protein in dead plant matter. Or if you're talking about waste from an animal, you would have to say um, urea in the urine. So at each stage, it's making sure you're naming what the nitrogen containing compound is. So that is it for the nitrogen cycle. I hope you have found that helpful today. There'll be lots of questions linked to this coming up soon on Instagram. So do make sure you follow me at mrsetrick.com. Click subscribe to keep up to date with the latest videos and if you have liked it today, please give it a thumbs up.